Good morning, everyone. Mike with Newfound Past on a Christmas Eve. Uh, postal service is running today, so I am packing up orders. I'm going to ship out. Get over here in the chat. I don't really expect any whole lot of people because, you know, people are doing holiday stuff, you know, so. Uh, sorry, people are messaging me other flippers and stuff. So. Anyway, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a really good Christmas. Yeah. Morning, Michelle. First again. Hey, morning, Craig. Morning, Anissa. Yeah, everything went well on Saturday. Uh, it's a good thing about doing things on Saturday. It's less busy usually, so... Yeah. Morning, Diane. I'm just, I know it's Christmas Eve, but like I said, the mail is running today. So I am packaging up orders. I've had surprisingly a good amount of orders. Uh, I think I have nine going out, uh, eight or nine, a uh, couple yet to be paid for that I took offers on. But yeah. So I figured one, you know, if I'm just down here, you know, packing stuff up, may as well hang out. I invited a few other uh, flippers and stuff on, but you know, they're probably busy with family stuff and all that good stuff, but we'll see. We'll hang out here and package up. And if they join in great, if not, that's okay too. You know what I mean? So uh, good morning, John. A three is better than zero in this, uh, <laughs> you know, had a sale yesterday to Canada that said they wanted me to send USPS instead of global shipping. Print. Uh, Sometimes that's okay to Canada, you know, but you know, I still prefer a global shipping program, but yeah, Diane has two going out, one from Amazon and from eBay plus one to pay. Yep. Like I said, I have two awaiting payment as well. I know people say you should fire back with like a dollar more so they have to immediate pay, but you know, sometimes you just want to make the sale. I don't want someone to reject, you know, an offer over a dollar. Yeah, it's, it was weird, John. I, I didn't expect anything. So it's always good when you don't expect anything and stuff happens, you know. So it's been it's been pretty good. Yeah, me too, uh, Craig. I only do global shipping as well. It's just so much easier. You don't have to go to the post office, you know, because I, I rarely go to the post office. Good morning, Claudette. Yeah, it's a nice day. Uh, we did go thrifting yesterday. I'm going to be filming my, my haul video later today. And... uh man it was i didn't expect much just like with the sales i didn't expect much to be at the thrift stores because you know people are shopping for christmas but we found a lot of good stuff it just goes to show that you know no matter what stuff isn't all picked over ever you know they're constantly putting out stuff and yeah people just don't know at all you know neither do i because i know for a fact there's other flippers and pickers in this area they've you know messaged me and stuff and i find stuff that they don't and they find the find stuff that i don't you know so Yeah, happy with three to ship. Yeah, I'm like I said, I was I'm stoked that I had these sales. It was amazing. Didn't expect it at all. So for those of you that haven't joined in one of our mid morning pack and ships, I don't show like the item specifically. Usually, I don't talk about how much it costs or what I got for it because that's for the sold videos and stuff like that. But you know, we're just in here hanging out, chatting, packing up, and I talk about the shipping process. Some people. Are interested to know how stuff is packed, how stuff is shipped, whether to use pirate ship, cubic, or you know, other stuff. So, good morning, Mary. Mary just got back from the post office, not too many. Yeah, it's a great day to go to the post office, not too many people there. Hello, Silver Stair, Silver Hair Stacker. I don't think I have your real name on my list. Nope, I don't. <laughs> I just keep a running list of people's real names. Is it Todd? Is Silver Stair Hacker Stacker Todd? Get my pen. No more pins over here. I'll make a note of that. Silver Hair Stacker. It's Todd. Okay, got you. Got it, Todd. Thank you. Trying to make a silver hair. Yeah, silver stare. <laughs> Sorry. My old eyeballs aren't working that good this morning. Okay, so let me see what we're going to do first. 
Uh, John's post office doesn't open until 10. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to give mine to my carrier like normal. I hope it's my regular carrier, but it may not be. But still, the carrier is going to get them whether they like it or not. So if, you know, first, <laughs> the first thing we have is this uh, a jacket that I got a package up that actually is getting shipped in my hometown. Like <laughs> somebody bought it that lives here. <laughs> but that's the way it goes. Because I... That's a tip, and I'm sure most of the people in here know it. If you do something for local pickup, um, there's no proof of delivery, so they can come back on you. So either just ship your stuff, or if you're going to do local pickup, have them like send you a message, like right there when they're with you, like in eBay messages, go uh, receive the item in perfect condition, appreciate it, or, you know, have that noted in ebay messaging so if they try to come back on you you can have ebay look at the message and go oh yeah this person did get this item i've just heard of scams before where people have uh, done local pickup and said they didn't get the item you know and you have to have proof of delivery for ebay <laughs> todd didn't want to ship that i didn't either but you know they're open so gotta gotta do a little work so let's get to it oh man <laughs> well first thing first i'll be back in about 10 seconds i gotta go get some boxes out of the garage <laughs> my 12 by 12 by 8 priority mail boxes Okay, sorry about that, guys. They were actually upstairs. Boxes. <laughs> Knew I had them. Knew I'd ordered them. Had to go get them. I use the uh, 12 by 12 by 8 priority mail boxes quite a bit. Because I sell a lot of big coats and jackets. That usually works pretty well for that. And there they are. Yeah. And also, you well, you reuse that big box probably at some point it's in still in good condition. Okay. So now get to work. Got all my orders stacked up over here. Okay. Let's see what you guys are. I've already transferred my money out of my PayPal, so I've already done that. Gina's doing shipping now, too. You got seven. That's awesome. Yeah, I got eight or nine, I think, here, and two awaiting payment. That's good, John. See, John <laughs> John took a did a local pickup for a Italian marble coffee table. I took video of us loading into his van. Yep. Like I said, I'd also have them send me a message while he's standing there that they received it, you know, in eBay messaging, not an email, in eBay messaging. Oh, hey, Justin, you just woke up. That's late for you, bud. <laughs> yeah, Justin's on his uh, holiday time. We're just doing the pack and ship, Justin, just kind of like normal, even though it's Christmas Eve. We got orders to go out. We got some good sales. This one I know will, will be just regular priority mail because it's in this town, so that'll be the cheapest for sure. Get to have the jacket hanging up over here. This has been in storage in my garage, which usually keeps all the lint off of it, but I give it a good once over again with the uh, lint roller. Oh, 
Oh, there they are. <laughs> it's like, where'd they go? They're right here. Where are they supposed to be? When you have something that's where it's supposed to be, I just can't find it. <laughs> Especially this black fabric, man. Black fabric and lint is just ugh, it's crazy. Anybody that deals with clothes knows that. Okay. Said I was really surprised with the thrifting yesterday. It was really good. I'm excited to film the video this afternoon, our our haul video. Lots of good stuff. Didn't expect anything. So it was really good. I'm ready for January to get here because I got I have got to work on my storage space down here. Everything is everywhere. <laughs> it's not efficient at all right now. That's four pounds three ounces. Four pounds three ounces. Twelve by twelve by eight box. That will be seven dollars and nineteen cents. That's a deal. I'm waiting for the label to pop up. Okay, here we go. First one. The turbocharged Dymo X four XO. All right, first one. Ooh, and go on to the next one. Let's see what you guys got going over here. 24 watching, holy smokes. You guys must be bored on a Christmas Eve. <laughs> uh, and it's a bought one of those giant lint rollers supposed to be used on floors i stuff them in a paint roll <laughs> that's awesome i get all mine at costco you know they, we get the yeah morning lex morning brian no sales yet for craig yeah uh, today nothing you know uh just yesterday and saturday afternoon is what i'm packing up now Okay, so moving on to the next one. Absolutely, Michelle. It doesn't matter what you celebrate. Just be together with your family and, yeah, just have a good time. Enjoy the days off. Okay, so next we're going to do this hoodie. It's right here, actually. Definitely have to let roll this one for sure. Okay, now the front roller. Gotta see where this one's going to. This hoodie's pretty heavy duty, so uh, it's just going to New York State, so that's a uh, that's not too far. That's uh, not a big deal. So this is too puffy for a flat rate envelope, so uh yeah, this is just gonna the cheap you know, probably a padded flat rate six ninety. Since this is going to New York State, it's only gonna be seven forty five, so it's you know fifty cent difference. Not bad. I will just poly bag it though. Poly bag over here. This is a little bit of a cheaper of an item, and I took an offer on it because I'd had it for a while. So, but it's still a cool item. But yeah, just made a little little bit of money and move it on to the next person you know sometimes that's the name of the game
<laughs> this pretty big polymiller, and it's still a crammed in here. But I like these polymillers; they're sturdy, heavy duty. Puppy. Two pounds, three ounces. Two pounds, three ounces. Yep, seven forty five priority mail. Printing that label, second one about to go out. Hope you guys all caught the, uh, let me get this print first. Hope you got all you guys caught, I'm sure you did, but I hope everyone saw the interview with John, the Cincinnati Picker, that was a lot of fun. Uh, if you haven't saw that, it's on his channel, Cincinnati Picker. It was a lot of fun doing that. see here what we got going on yeah the the post office hours you guys are talking about it's a variety of everywhere you know the even normal hours around me, some of post offices will have different hours than others, you know, so it's weird. Yep. So the next thing I'm going to do here is this vest. A lot of clothes, uh, which is good. Oops. I was just surprised, you know, because usually around Christmas, used clothes don't sell that well, but... Uh, I sold quite a bit. This is a nice vest. I almost kept it for myself, but uh, red. Uh, yeah. That's my vest. I prefer black and gray or charcoal. This one's going to Massachusetts. So, do padded flat rate on that. I will poly bag it first. If you poly, if you're, I mean, it's like a cello bag. If you cello bag before you put it in a flat rate, it's easier to slip in the, the uh, and normally I would do anyway with clothes. It just, you know, sometimes they're just too big to fit in these cello bags, but this one's fine. Like that hoodie. I just stuffed in that poly miller. I don't have a cello bag big, bag big enough for that thing. So. And you know, big coats and jackets and everything. Just grab a uh, padded flat rate, which I always keep huge stacks of. squeeze all the air out of it. I know some people have vacuum sealers and stuff, and I do upstairs for food, but I usually don't have to mess with that. Creaming it in here, I'm telling you. And it's just a vest, and I'm like, you know, it barely fits in the, this uh, this padded flat rate, but it does. It's just a, it's a squeeze. There you go. It's in there. Padded flat rate. Six dollars and ninety cents versus eight dollars and twenty two cents regular priority mail.
because that's definitely over a pound. You know, it'd be nice if it slipped into first class, but it's a pretty heavy duty vest. As you can see, it barely fits in that. So, yeah. Okay. It's always nice to invest or lighter weight though in their first class, but uh, sometimes they're just not. There you go. It's number three down. Let's see what you guys are up to over here. Uh, Craig says, thinking about opening a second store just for clothes. Anyone separate like that? I'm trying to, Craig, because um, I do have three eBay accounts open. My first one's an unlimited account. Second one has a pretty high limit, but it is limited. And the third one, of course, is really new. Um, I'm, it, I want to get to a point where one of the stores is strictly closed as well. You know. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's on this one. I had a lot of shirts listed but the person just wanted two of them so we made a deal and i said i'll, I'll sell you two of them because i've had these for a little while so I pulled them out yeah there was blue ones and gray ones and they wanted the gray ones so they're all the same size to the same store and stuff but they just wanted the gray ones so they made me an offer and i accepted those sent out to him. They should hopefully these will squeak into first class because uh they're pretty light. They're really they have the uh athletic fabric performance fabric. No, nope, just over a pound, unfortunately. Figures one pound, one ounce. That figures so padded flat rate it is. Lex says, uh, lives in Connecticut and the state sales here are multi generation. The fines are awesome. I believe that 100% because the estate sale we went to in Massachusetts, kind of the same deal as Connecticut, it was awesome. <laughs> I was like, man, this thing is awesome. Had some really good fines up there. Okay, so let's get these shipped out. That's too bad those aren't first class. That's going to cost me three or four bucks, but yeah, it happens. Another padded flat rate. In just a little bit, it's Christmas Eve, and wife are gonna we're gonna cook our we're cooking prime rib for Christmas, and we're gonna do it today. So, gotta set that out of the fridge and let it get up to room temperature before I roast it. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Usually we have ham, but decided on prime rib this year. Gonna be good stuff. Yep, one pound and one ounce, unfortunately. Okay. This is going to North Carolina. Just south of me. Come on, label. All right, there we go. And we were, you know, our, our talking about our thrifting yesterday. We were still picky. It's not like we were, I probably left, you know, 50 things that I could have made a $10 profit on just because I don't have room for them anymore. Shifting, had to shift my philosophy to fit my storage. <laughs> Let me get some bubble wrap. Hang on just a second. Got my roll over here hung up. You know what bubble wrap means coffee mug <laughs> i love selling coffee mugs they're not huge profit but man easy bread and butter easy peasy i 
thing about coffee mugs is 99.9% .9 of the time they're going to be a priority mail. I know there's some YouTubers out there that cram them into a smaller box and sometimes can fill 15, 16 ounces, but it's not really safe to be honest because they're just asking for a return or a broken item in transit. Get one of my seven by seven by six boxes. What I always ship pro, uh, mugs in, single mugs. Mugs in my thrift stores, I haven't sourced a lot recently, recently because for one, there hasn't been a lot of good ones, and two, they've raised the prices on them to two and three dollars a piece. I'm not paying two or three dollars a piece, you know, just not gonna do it. Paper, what do I do with my paper? <laughs> I was shifting stuff around in here the other day, so I may have used it. I'll have to get another roll out from down here, have it stored under my desk over here. What I have left, I'm running low. Keep an eye on Facebook Marketplace for more. We'll pick some up from someone. People usually they move in here and they just give it away. So because usually it's the military or government that has moved them, just like us. That's it. That's what this paper is from. Is our move? Still working on it three years later. That's how much paper there was. Uh, Lauren and and I think uh, Gwen and Justin did a little hangout on Saturday. I wish I could have made it, but my wife had doctor's appointments. Uh, took her to at the VA. So. One pound, eight ounces. Let's see here. Yep. This one's going to Florida. I guess it makes sense for what that mug was. <laughs> Calculate $7.91. It's about typical for a mug. I think that's the last order on this, my main account. The other three are on my second account. Because I am awaiting payment on a couple of things on this account. Luckily, I know Justin's had a couple, but luckily I haven't had any unpaid item cases yet. But you never can tell, you know. People that make offers and stuff. Yep. Okay. So on to the second account. Let me see what you guys are up to. Hey, Glenn. How's it going? I don't know how you're talking about insurance, but uh, Blake says you must use USA for your insurance house car. We get our money this month. Yeah. We use USA, you know, military and I check periodically with other insurance agencies, a uh, house and car, and uh, nobody can beat them. They're about the same on house insurance, but they're cheaper on car insurance. So, Jimmy asked, is it a pain in the butt switching between multiple eBay accounts and keeping them straight? No. Uh, make sure you use multiple email accounts as well for them. That's how you keep them straight. Uh, you don't want to use multiple eBay accounts into the same email account. That's, that'll get you confused. I use multiple email accounts eBay accounts and PayPal accounts to keep it all going where it should. <laughs> it's crazy. Anissa said they switched her car insurance and saving hundred dollars a month. Do you guys switch to USAA? Yeah. Cause for years, you know, um, my wife had farm bureau, I think it was. And I was like, we need to switch. And we did. And it, it has saved us a ton of money. Yes, Glenn says, bring, bring, bringing muffins this morning to the post office. I bet you they appreciate that. Because it is Christmas Eve and most people would rather not be working, but it is what it is.
yeah, those are some hard to find mugs, Marcy, Doreen mugs, but good stuff. Yeah, multiple PayPal accounts. All you need, uh, you know, if you, Gmail, you can have as many emails as you want. Just make different email addresses, you know, Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, whatever free email account you want to use. Definitely check out USA and this because I mean they may be cheaper, they may not. You know, it all the you know, insurance is a variety of factors. Of course, you know your driving record, credit history, all kinds of stuff. So, okay, so let's switch accounts here. On to the second eBay account. Really surprised I didn't sell a single thing on Posh. I was hoping at least for one or two sales, but nothing. But it's all right. I sold a lot of stuff on eBay. Okay. So do I do the hard stuff first or the easy stuff first is the question. <laughs> uh, I got a gift to send out. I know it's not going to be there for Christmas, but I got a gift to send out too, personally. See how much these things weigh. And of course, they're over a pound. Padded flat rate it is, because I know those are going to Michigan. Let's see if I can fit them into a padded flat rate. They'd be able to stack them in there evenly, orderly. Who's ahead in the, uh, the some of the other flippers and stuff? I have a fantasy football league going. Uh, I think Andy was playing. I forget who Andy was playing. Stephen and Steph maybe, and uh, but Lonnie and uh, gosh, I'm drawing a blank. But uh, they were had some matchups. I wonder who was ahead. Yeah, these aren't going to fit in the padded play right, unfortunately. I don't think. Still got four more of them. I don't think they're going to fit. No, no way. Wah, wah. Let me see here. You guys are saying, yeah, they had, yeah, I know in this, they had bets, and that's why I was wondering who was ahead because Lonnie may lose his eyebrows. That's crazy. I wouldn't make a bet like that. <laughs> wouldn't do it. Yeah, these are going to... Oh, these are going to Wisconsin, actually. Wisconsin. Okay. Um, I think there's going to be just a pound and change. So a regional rate box may be the way to go. Nope, just regular priority mail. Yeah, that's okay. Regular priority it is. I'm not going to stress too much about it. Let's see if they'll... Fit in the old seven by seven by six box. I think they will. The Christmas, I mean, Christmas sales were solid. They were okay. Uh, not as high as I'd hope, but we always, always hope for more, don't we? But uh, the good thing about it is I sold a lot of stuff that I've had for a long time. And I'm really happy about that to get rid of a bunch of old stock stuff that's been around for a while some stuff's been around for like a year 
or more. So I'm glad to clear out the old and get in the new. Scott had a dropped a good the bearded picker dropped a good video about his goals and stuff this coming year. Watched that this morning. All right, that did fit about perfectly in that box. So. Love this priority mail tape that the my mailman gave to me. One pound six ounces. Seven by seven by six box. Yep, seven dollars and ninety-one cents. Okay. No problem. Now the address is coming up as invalid. Great. Sometimes it's a formatting thing. Have to I'm Google search. This is a business address, so I'm Google searching their address because their address is coming up as invalid. This is a you know a lower cost item, so it's not like it's a huge risk to change their address a little bit. Huh, their address is coming up as invalid on eBay, but that is their address. I just looked it up on uh, Google. W, this is our address. W5764 County Road A. I don't know. Company Street now. I don't know. It won't let me print the label because it's there saying uh, address invalid. Let's just try it on pirate ship. <clears throat> Screw it. I mess with her nonsense. Copy. Some code. Five four one oh six. Five four one oh six. I said it was one pound six ounces. That's fifty cents cheaper on pirate ship anyway. It was seven ninety one on eBay and it's seven forty nine. I should have known, you know. Should have known. Let's get that done. Yep. All right. Pirate ship it is seven forty nine. Remember to copy your tracking number over though if you do trap if you do a pirate ship. Unless you, if you don't have it connected, I know a lot of people have it connected, and I need to do that. I've just been lazy. So. All right. Another one bites the dust. Okay. Let me take that trash out. It's full. Okay, I'm going to copy that tracking number so I don't forget. Hmm. 
done. Okay, what are you guys up to? Yeah, Jimmy had an address issue. I'll just use pirate ship, so solve that real quick. Oh, yeah, you're right, Piper John. I should have put the W after the numbers. Yeah, it's weird. You know, you search Google though, and it came up with the W first. But yeah, you're right. But yeah, it's all right. I say 50 cents on pirate ship anyway. So. <laughs> Oh, hey, John. John popped in, said hello. What's up, man? Just shipping stuff out. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, Will. Will is Honda Hangout, so, yeah, appreciate that. He's always a big supporter. 38 watching, 17 thumbs up, so I think we can do better. I know, I know we're better people. <laughs> okay, so on to the next one. Uh, let's do this big glass thing. This is going to Minnesota. I'll definitely be checking pirate ship on this because this is going to Minnesota, which is west of the Mississippi. Well, parts of it is. And it's heavy. Definitely heavy. But I got to get some uh, bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. wrap this thing up right there in front of my face I'm like where'd it go it's right there <laughs> it's amazing the stuff you can look over in the chaos I did uh, for those that didn't see my what to get your thrifter for Christmas video. I figured out the Amazon affiliate links thing and I'm linking, I'm linking them down now, <laughs> linking them down, <laughs> linking them now to every video. It's all a bunch of stuff that I use that helps me. Um, and you know, we get a few pennies if someone buys something or even if you're going to buy something else off of Amazon, you go through one of those links and you can browse Amazon and we get a little few pennies off the other stuff you buy too. So, I'll tell you a gift that's underrated for us. Um, a flipper is Amazon Prime membership because you get unlimited photo storage with a Prime membership, which is really cool. There's a lot of good products in there. You know, like I said, full disclosure, I do make a little bit of money off of that, but every little bit helps, you know. So it's definitely stuff that I use and I recommend. It's not just a hodgepodge, a bunch of crap, you know. About the only thing on that list that I don't own that I would like to is the Rolo printer. Even though I have the Dymo, I just kind of want to test it out and compare. But I'm not going to buy one. I'm buying one for a test. Andy, the pair head picker, is probably going to get one so he can tell me how it, how it performs. Wait a second before we box it because it's already over four pounds. Four pounds, four ounces. So it'll definitely be in the five pound range on that. After being boxed and packed. So five pounds and change to. Oh, this is one of the rare times that parcel select is cheaper than priority mail. That doesn't happen that often. So this is going to Minnesota and parcel select is $14.19. Priority mail is $26.22. No, thank you. Uh, but I am going to check pirate ship on this because this is a prime candidate for pirate ship. This is too big for regional rate boxes, too big for flat rate boxes, uh, too big for a large flat rate box, which is 1710. So let's check pirate ship. So our cheapest optional postal service is parcel select at $14.19. But the bad thing about that is it doesn't have insurance automatically like priority mail does. Could add that, but we're going to check... Uh, Pirate ship first. That's to zip code five five four two three. Five five four two three. Oops. Okay. What the, five pounds and change. Right now I'm just getting it close, and I will dial it in once I. Yeah, see on pirate ship, $13.77 priority mail. 
So that's even cheaper than the parcel select over there. So let's get this boxed up for priority mail. Yeah, Jimmy, parcel select slow. It is. It's like the ground. It's like UPS ground. You know, it's all over road. It's not on an airplane. Well, thanks, Lex. I, I tend to think of my uh, Lex says, love your videos, very personal. I tend to see myself as kind of blah, but, you know, everyone does, you know, so it is what it is. Every little bit does help, Gina. It doesn't matter if it's 50 cents. If you're shipping a thousand packages a year, that 50 cents adds up. Yeah, the, the poly bag. Yeah, I've, I've read about that. Oh, that's awesome, Will. That helps people out. You know, it really does. Because it's not much, but it all adds up, you know, throughout the year. Um, yeah, so. So let's get this dialed in better. I'm going to get it boxed. It's the best box for this. Probably a 12 by 12 by 8 priority box is going to be best for this. Let me go ahead and change that and see what it says. Yeah, still the same rate. Okay, so that's doubly good. It's priority because use their box and don't have to scrounge one up, you know? That's the underrated thing about priority mail is your box is free. I really appreciate that postal service. Postal service gets bagged on a lot, but they do a really good job mostly. I know there's always exceptions, bad experiences, but for the millions and millions of packages they do they do a pretty good job there's always exceptions to everything there's always going to be bad employees and bad experiences just like you know the va kind of has a bad rap because that's people always hear the complainers like my wife has never had a bad experience with the va me either so teach their own new each their own. Got a paper? I know that's loud. Sorry. <laughs> One of my Christmas gifts to myself is I ordered myself a new microphone and it came in, but I don't have it set up yet. And it should control that sound better. More paper. Always really cautious with glass stuff. This is big glass picture. Basically, you want to pack that in there where the item's not moving at all. A little shake test, and that's good. The shake test is just to make sure it's not rattling around in there. Even though it's a single item, I still don't want it moving around too much. If it's multiple items, you definitely don't want to move around at all. It'll definitely break. But there we go. Package it up. Let's reweigh and make sure we're we're good. Around that five pound eight ounce mark. Five pound seven ounces, even better. It doesn't make doesn't change anything, but I will update it. Still gonna be thirteen seventy seven. Yep, no problem. Pirate ship saves some money again. This item has found a new home in Minnesota. All right, cool. Look at them. Print the label here and make sure we copy that tracking number over. Good stuff. Bam. Okay. Ooh, whoop. Got to 
list a bunch of coffee mugs. I got a bunch of coffee mugs to list. Uh, okay. I think that's so let me copy that tracking number. See, I almost forgot. Copy that tracking number. Oh, I got one more to ship. I got one more. That's another big one. One more eBay item to ship and one more gift to get ready. I'll just use pirate ship on the gift. Cool. That's done. All right. Last eBay item before the, the gift. Ooh, and this is a heavy one as well. Make sure the boxes are all nice and tight. This one is already packed in its factory box and it has boxes within the box. But even that the case, I mean, I don't think I have a box to fit this, but I should box it again, you know, but we'll see what I got. This is, yeah, this would be 15 by 10 and a half. So 15 by 12 by 11, that's a pretty big box. Pretty heavy box too. I could use my very last. I've been hanging on to this. This is the very last priority mailbox of this kind. They don't make it anymore. They stopped making it three years ago. And this is a 15 by 12 by 12 large mailing box. I love this box and they stopped making it about three years ago. And this is my last one. And this is a fairly expensive item. So I think I'm going to use my last one on this item. Bye bye. Favorite priority mail box. It's been fun. I've been waiting for the right size item, right price of item to use this box. And I think it's this item today. You know, I did, obviously I didn't know they were going to stop making these boxes. If I had known, I would have ordered a couple hundred of them. But they just sprung it on us one day. They were, I didn't spring it on us. One day they were just gone. You know, I went to order some and they were gone. Perfect. See, that's a perfect fit. I'm going to layer a little bit of paper. It's got like an inch of room there. Just so it doesn't shift around in the box that much. Let's see what you guys are saying here. Uh, and this is, this is a 15 by 12 by 12 box. Yeah, they just don't make them anymore. Unfortunately. Uh, Jimmy says, I like you're not full of BS and fluff. Yeah, no, this is a no BS zone for sure. Don't believe in it. And I'll show you the goods, the wins, the losses, and everything in between. Uh, Gina says she really hopes a regular post lady is working today. We have had lots of subs in the office, and I have our gift. Plus, hope to see my mail carrier today. Yeah, that's awesome, Gina. And I do the same thing. My uh, <laughs> my regular mail carrier is an awesome guy. Just the top notch, you know. Navy vet, we get along great, and he knows what I do, and he loves it. You know, he's like, "Oh, you know, making us more money, you know, keeping us in business." But uh, I give you, you're limited to like twenty or twenty five dollar gift for postal employees, but I give him a little bit more than that, you know. But I'm like, "Oh, I hand him the card, you know, with some cash in it," and uh, I go, "This is for me and the neighbors. I have a lot of neighbors, <laughs> so I'm like." Not breaking any rules. It's for me and the neighbors. <laughs> it's for me, really. <laughs> he just deserves more than 20 bucks. He's a good dude. He works hard. Does a fantastic job. 100% believe in rewarding people that go above and beyond. Okay. Set my scale down on the floor for this one. It's a big one. Ooh. 
this was 14 pounds, nine ounces. 14 pounds, nine ounces. 14 pounds, nine ounces. I bet you it's going to be pirate ship as well. We're going to check though. 14 pounds, nine ounces, 15 by 12 by 12. Okay, this is going to Michigan and priority mail is eighteen dollars and six cents parcel select eighteen sixty two so priority is cheaper but we're going to check pirate ship just in case so let's copy that over this is zip code four eight one five four four eight one five four Twelve and it's fourteen pounds and ounces. So no difference. I didn't think so because uh, it doesn't qualify for cubic. I don't think so. Eighteen oh six either way. So I'll just do it through eBay. Eighteen dollars and six cents. Not bad for such a big heavy item going all the way to Michigan. And then, like I said, it was pretty. I uh, purchase price too. You say that in the sold video in the next couple weeks. <laughs> Done. Like I said, that one was long tail, but it was well worth it for what I paid for it, which I'll talk about in the sold video. Okay, last item is this gift that's going out. Uh, my, my wife, her platoon mates from boot camp they have a facebook group and they do a gift exchange and that's going to one of our old platoon mates and we'll just do that on pirate ship okay what you guys got going on morning alabama thrifter merry christmas Maniac picker. Wish the people I work for believed in that. They got rid of our hands and gave us a $15 Walmart gift card. I'd rather have the ham. Uh, me too. I'd rather have the ham too. Oh, yeah, Nissa. Yeah. You'll see it later. <laughs> and Gate City Picker. We tipped our mail carrier too. Great guy. Does a great job. Yep. I mean, I firm, firmly believe if your mail carrier is a, a, you know, worthless, don't tip them. You know, they do a good job. You take care of them. Just like anything, you know, server in a restaurant, they do a good job, take care of them. They don't, don't take care of them. Okay, so I got the address on my phone here. I gotta plug it in. Zip code is one four five one two New York State. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this will fit in. Cause it's a little bit thicker, so I don't think it'll fit in the ten forty five box. Yeah, because it's almost five inches. Definitely not a 12 by 10 by 5. Hmm. I think I have a 12 by 10. I did have some 12 by 10 by 6 boxes, but I think I may have ran out. I think I may have ran out of those. 12 by 6 by 6. 12 by 12 by 12. Those are eight by eight by eights. I think I'll just have to use a 12 by 12 by eight priority box. It's only New York State anyway, so it's not like it's that far. Yeah, that's okay, rather than, like I said, it's a, it's a gift. I'm not too concerned about pinching the pennies on the gift. And get it there safe. All the other gifts have already been sent out to family members. A lot of them I just ordered directly, you know. And that box is a little bit overkill, but what can you do?
Billy's growling. I'm in the late stages of my fast. About another hour to go. Hungry. All right. Let's see. This one only weighs about two pounds. Oh, actually, almost three. Two pounds, 13 ounces. Yeah, 745. I figured it would be pretty cheap. That's good to go. We'll go with that one for sure. I gotta get her name off my phone here. Sorry, I'm typing here, guys. I'm looking at my phone and I like copy and pasting off of eBay. It's actually my wife sent me the address of her platoon mate. Okay, got it. Seven forty five deal. That's the last one. Hope everyone has a bunch of good sales, even though it's Christmas Eve and tomorrow's Christmas. I haven't sold anything yet today, and I don't expect to, but if we do, that's awesome, isn't it? Honestly, what other you know people watch around watching TV and eating and stuff? What else are they gonna do? They need to shop. <laughs> Maybe someone's getting an eBay gift card for Christmas. Or an Amazon gift card, or wherever you Poshmark gift card. Ooh, that's quite a stack. I like that. How much total was that? Count all these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine total. So eight on eBay and one gift. That's what, that's what I thought. Like I said, I have two waiting payment. 41 watching. Wow, you guys are so awesome. See you later, Monty. I didn't even see you, bud. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> Gina, your son always gives you an eBay gift card. That's a, the best gift. You know what I wish? Oh, wait just a second here. Lex, can you use Pirate Ship? To, yeah, that's what I just did. I just uh, shipped my own package using Pirate Ship. Uh, Jimmy uh, does intermittent fasting too. Drops 20. Yep. I've, I started on keto. Keto messed with my kidney function. I switched to intermittent fasting and I'm down. 55 pounds and I eat what I want. Absolutely eat what I want. I just skip breakfast, <laughs> you know, down 55 pounds. Well, and I don't eat sugar. That's a tough one for a lot of people. Sugar is my, my bane. It puts weight on me like nothing else. Not even carbs. Carbs does put weight on you, but sugar is my, my bane. But, uh, Gina said that, uh, her son always gives her an eBay gift card. And I, I looked into, I, my sister has started selling on eBay and I've kind of coaching, you know, kind of coaching her and helping her. And I want to give her a gift card to get an eBay store, but you can't do it. I looked into it and there's like, you can't use an eBay gift card for your store subscription fees. I'm like, why not? That is so dumb. Um, so I don't know. Some things, you know, I wanted to help ebay out by getting another seller i want to help my sister out but yeah it's crazy oh dj donnie i should clarify i don't eat simple sugars i don't eat sugar you know candy cake pies desserts no sugary cereals stay away from high fructose corn, corn syrup but will i have an apple yes i will <laughs> grapes love grapes yeah yeah, uh, yeah, it's 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 crazy, Gina, because, you know, I looked into it because I, I really wanted to get her, you know, the, the basic store level subscription for Christmas. But, yeah, can't do it. I mean, I could give her the cash, you know, and do it that way. But I just wanted to, you know, give her a gift card or. Yeah, it's like that's maybe what I end up doing. Uh, 
Uh, no specific diet, Lex. It's just intermittent fasting. Literally, I do a uh, sixteen hours of fasting, eight hours to eat in. Literally, just natural sugar. Yes, DJ, just natural sugars. No, no high fructose corn syrup. No refined sugars. None of that stuff. Between the no sugar and uh, intermittent fasting, fifty-five pounds in about a year or so. So. I'm actually in extra large shirts now. I was in double extra large and extra large is actually looking baggy. It's a, this is a brand new shirt. My wife got for me. It's a little bit baggy and it's extra large. It's awesome. <laughs> but I was just getting so fat and I was like, I have got to do something about this nonsense. Okay. Well, that's it guys. I'm going to go. If you, if, if you will, please hit the thumbs up button. Appreciate that. Yes, Sam, some post offices have varying hours, but the postal postal service is open today and uh, carriers will be out. So, yeah, I'm selling some of my uh, vests, Craig, those 2XL. I have some 2XL vests. They're getting sold. <laughs> some Eddie Bauer ones and stuff. But anyway, thanks, guys. Uh, hit the thumbs up, share, subscribe if you're not, you know, whatever you do. Um, yeah, appreciate it. Hit those affiliate links. I have a Patreon account and do what you do what you want, but I appreciate all you guys. Have a Merry Christmas, and uh, I'll drop my haul video tonight for patrons and tomorrow on Christmas Day, Christmas Day haul video tomorrow morning. So you guys look out for that. Thanks a million, guys. We'll see you later.